Salmonella was our focus along with another bacteria and those two are foodborne bacteria commonly found in poultry and North Carolina is a major poultry producer in the nation. Mohammed Ahmedna is a food scientist at North Carolina A&T State University. He and his research team are working on ways to detect contamination early so that the public can avoid foodborne illness. And the stakes are high. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has estimated that salmonella infections are responsible for nearly 1.5 million illnesses annually. This has resulted in more than 16,000 hospitalizations and nearly 600 deaths. The economic repercussions are in the billions of dollars due to lost productivity. North Carolina A&T was well positioned to work with the poultry industry to solve this problem, considering the university's long history helping local farmers. Speed through technology might just prove to be the answer. In short, a biosensor is basically a device that detects biological organisms such as salmonella or any other bacteria, living things. The biosensors basically enable you to have the speed that you don't have with traditional methods. So speed is an issue and also portability and, and, and cost. This instrumentation may look simple, but tests to date have shown that it can rapidly detect salmonella. Currently, industry methods for foodborne bacteria detection can take several days. This biosensor unit, once refined, may deliver results in just a few hours. The payoff for consumers is a safer food supply because of early detection. And uh, CSRES has been instrumental in getting this line of research going. We have gotten a grant that started this research. And uh, our ultimate aim is to have it uh, licensed to a company. The university has filed for a patent for the technology and we have had some interest from a couple of companies. In the meantime, Mohammed and his staff are looking at other aspects of biosensor technology that may have impact far beyond the poultry farm. The work that Mohammed is doing is looking at pathogens and other kinds of disease organisms that may affect our food supply and other kinds of projects uh, related to uh, pr primarily minority farm workers and their health concerns. It's geared towards populations that have been underserved and their health and safety concerns have often not been uh, considered enough. So in that sense, it's extremely important. It is here at a field station of the North Carolina Agromedicine Institute that Mohammed plans to test remote biosensors in actual farm field conditions. This instrument platform, now being tested by the Institute, will allow for real-time transmission of data through GPS satellite communications. It is self-sufficient, with all instrumentation being powered by batteries charged by the sun. And it has potential for agro-terrorism applications. They're working a lot on making sure that our food supply is safe, non-contaminated, either from an induced terrorist activity or from natural pathogens that can occur. Ten miles away at the Institute's office center, the data is received real time. Mostly weather conditions are now being transmitted. But when North Carolina A&T's biosensors are added to the platform, critical biological detection will also be available. What the machine now is ready for is real life applications and for either researchers like Mohammed to, to utilize in their research or for commercial or governmental or what have you applications in the field. Your happy day is a day where, where you feel like, yes, I think I'm onto something. And, and hopefully that's where I am right now. I feel that our job as scientists is to give back to the community and then play a role in making the lives of our citizens better.